Yo, welcome everyone to my paint tutorial. As you can see, I've got my hands out of the new contrast paint and everywhere I've been looking so far, all I've been hearing and seeing is contrast. But finally, I've got my hands out of a sec uh, couple of the bottles. Well, I say a couple, I've got all of them and I've had a little chance to have a little play with all these models. So far, they have been doing some awesome results. In this video, I'm gonna take you through a quick a demonstration on the contrast paints and how to do a model in I would say about 20 minutes top I know it's crazy right but if you've got a big horde army you want to smash that horde army out these are the way forward they are very very good very very fast now doing it using these so far I have come across some faults uh, and I've come across some really good fantastic properties in some of these as well so I hope you enjoy this video uh, now this is not to the standard that I like to paint to but if I want to get an army to a tabletop standard, at least to try the models out and see how they perform. I know out there, you know, you've got the option of, you know, proxy and models, but me personally, I like to actually have the model to actually play with, to actually practice with. Um, so this is perfect for the Twisted Dice channel where we can actually get models painted and we can actually get them on the tabletop. So we can actually start recording with these, with the new models as they come out. And these are definitely the way forward for them. So sit back, enjoy. I hope you enjoyed this video. Okay, so first of all, we're going to be using the Wraithbone undercoat. Now this is a base coat that's uh, new, that's just come out with the contrast range. So the next coat I'm going with is an orange, uh, which is the Graphite, Graphite Hound Orange. Um, and just going straight out the bottle, straight onto the model, and it gives a lovely coverage straight away. As we like if you start using a wash, um, the wash doesn't always give a, you know a coat first of all it just goes into the recesses but with the contrast paints it gives a nice little coat as you paint it on and some of the you know when the paint does actually pull into the corners it actually gives it a nice shadowing effect so really you only need to give one coat of the contrast but if you want to go back in and darken it up you can go in with more contrast colors as you go through As you can see how easy it is just to apply over the models, over the areas that I need to darken up. It's so easy to work with. Um, one tip I can give you as you're painting this, just make sure you don't go too heavy with the actual paint itself. So as you can see, I'm putting some onto my thumb, back on my thumbnail, just to um, reduce some of the paint off the actual brush itself so it doesn't actually clog up too much. The last thing what you want it to do is pull up too much. So as then when it, it dries, it leaves then a, a rough surface or like a little bubble effect. You don't want that. So just take a little bit of excess off, maybe just brush it off on the actual side of the cap of the paint. Um, but as you can see, just with a nice, nice coat of this, goes down very, very nicely, nice and smooth, and it gives an absolutely awesome black effect afterwards.
Okay, so next contrast paint I'm going to be going in for is going to be the Wildwood, and this is just go around all the gloves, um, the pouches, anywhere that I can see it's either leather.
Now this model recording took me about 30, 30 to 35 minutes. 
If I wasn't recording and I'd have picked out all the other parts at the same time, as in like all the metal parts in one go, or the black parts in one go, I reckon I could do this model in about 15-20 minutes. Hopefully you've enjoyed this tutorial and you've found what I put onto this video has been very, very helpful. If you could do me a massive great favour and hit that like and subscribe, it does help me out massively and I really do appreciate it. And hopefully I'll catch you back again on another tutorial.